I have compiled a list of the things you need to do to start looking better naturally. These may sound like simple things, but when applied correctly, these will absolutely change your appearance. And these are all things that I personally used to gain better looks. I just want to say, looking good and having a good appearance, it all just comes down to good health. If you are a healthy person, you're going to be looking good. It's the thing that evolution plays in our looks because natural selection favored people who were healthy, people who were able to hunt in the tribes and provide in the villages and stuff. So natural selection favored people who were fit, naturally had good health, and if you display those qualities, other people would find you attractive because you stand the best chance for survival. So this is basically a video on how to have good health and how to make yourself look healthy. That's all appearance is. So the first one is you need to start eating healthy, of course. You need to cut out all your sugars, your refined oils, sugar mainly. You need to cut out sugar. Just you want to cut out as much sugar out of your diet as possible. Sugar just has a bunch of negative side effects. Maybe I can pull something up, but it like causes diseases. It just is a toxin and it will give you, it will make you look bad. It will give you a bunch of pimples. It's just not healthy. It's late. Sugar is basically poison and people probably have told you this many times, but Sugar's not healthy, and if you can just cut that out and start eating healthy, a healthy diet. So the next one on the list is you need to start working out. Your physique is the most powerfulest tool when it comes to maxing out your appearance and starting to look better, because it's the most, it's the thing you have the most to play around with. For example, if you have a bad face genetics, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much plastic surgery you can do for your face, but your physique, you can go from 500 pound fat guy to shredded guy in like two years or so maybe three but you can get what i'm saying you can make drastic changes to your body your body is the most powerfulest tool to changing your appearance start hitting the weights start eating less start moving more start working out you all know you all know what a push-up is you don't need all this fancy equipment. Just start working out regularly. Maybe if yeah, if you don't have equipment, you could start doing calisthenics. Stop procrastinating and start working on your body. And it's gonna pay off. The next one is reducing your stress. It's going to make you look bad because it's a toxin for your body. When you stress, it releases a bunch of fight or flight chemicals into your body. Has all the bad effects. Makes you look bad. You don't want to have stress. Stop overthinking stuff. Playing along with stress, I guess. The next one is quality social connection. Try to make the connections you have as meaningful as possible. Spending your time with friends. Doing stuff that you enjoy with other people. Because not hanging out with people, not having good social connections, it shorns your lifespan. It, I guess it makes you unhappy. We're social animals. Humans got this far in our society because we talk with other people, we communicate our ideas and we try to get other people to work together to achieve similar goals. So working together, talking with other people, having quality social connection is going to lift you up, make you a happier person, and ultimate lead, ultimately lead to you looking better. The next one is proper hygiene. We all know the basics, just showering and stuff. Doing stuff like brushing your teeth twice a day, not everyone does that. But washing your face twice a day is going to reduce your acne and making sure to like apply lotion and stuff i guess and then using shampoo you don't necessarily want to use it every day but people have different hair genetics like you might have thick hair thick curly hair and i have fine hair so i'm going to need to shampoo my hair differently compared to you and then just general things i'm going to go over in the list good quality sleep and vary your light exposure. Before bed, you want to have very low amounts of light exposure. You don't want to have get blue light in your eyes before bed because it's going to keep you awake. And in the mornings, you want to get as much sunlight in your eyes as possible. Sunlight first thing in the morning is essential. If you don't live in an area with sunlight, you want to just shine artificial bright light in your eyes because sunlight helps wake you up. When you get sunlight in your eyes, it wakes you up in summary. And then lighting your eyes when you're trying to go to sleep keeps you awake. So you want to reduce light exposure. 
and that's going to help you regulate your melatonin levels and get you to go to sleep better. You also want to drink water. Most people, you, there's, you can do calculations to see like how much water you need to have. For me, I think I need to drink like a half gallon of water every day, but I do a lot of exercise and I sweat a lot, so it's probably going to be more like a gallon. And that's basically all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Going along with your looks, you're looking better naturally, but in order to also look better, you want to be good in social connections. You need to be good socially to go along with your looking good. So I have this video prepared right here about charisma and how to start becoming more charismatic. Mm -hmm.